First of all, um, thank you for having me. And this is Suzy from South Korea. Uh, I'm both honored and excited to participate in this community and share my thoughts on building peace around the world, free from war, violence, and nuclear weapons based on my experiences as unified team. So um, today I will share my thoughts with my experiences from 2018 PyeongChang Winter Olympic with the unified team and exchanges through sports can bring down the walls and divide people and building the bridges to connect people. Okay, well, um, as I'm an athlete and if you have a dream that you want to realize as an athlete, like without a doubt, I would say to be an Olympian, right? And many people dream of becoming an Olympic athlete, but really very few are chosen. And through hard work and dedication, I had the opportunity to represent my country in an unforgettable experience that, be go that goes beyond the sports. While competing against the top players around the world was already a meaningful experience, but what proved to be more meaningful was the time that I spent with North Korean players. Frankly speaking, when I first heard about the news that the North Korean players were going to join us, like only just a month before the Olympics started, I couldn't understand why and was very disappointed with the decision made by the government. To be honest, like I didn't want them to like join and steal my playing time. And also like I had no idea how I could get along with them because we have totally different system. However, like I don't know how, but we quickly became friends like any other friends and worked together as one team and together we made history, which was the stepping stone for beginning of peace. I want to say sports itself is very powerful. It actually had more power than I thought. Regardless of po speaking political messages or diplomatic agenda, just through the sports, we became as one and a divided Korea was united in a short period of time that hasn't been made for many years. You know, the exchange is very important. And I think exchanges through the sports can be the easiest way. And, you know, another reason why I think this was very meaningful was that sometimes when people talk to each other who are very different and living in a totally different system, they tend to get farther away. And that, could, that can lead to the war, I mean, Sports seems to serve as a magical glue. Therefore, where language fails to speak, sports fills the gap and sports fills the silence and broaden understanding. So based on that experience, at least that, I, that is what I personally felt. Sports could be one of the safest and most effective means of bringing people together. Perhaps building a world that allows positive competition among those from different culture and backgrounds is something that must come before political convergence. So just to sum up what I said, like the power of people to people diplomacy through sports can break through political divisions and build peace and human connection. And also we can change stereotypes and harmonize together. Um, there could have been a lot of rambling, but I want to, what, what I want to say is that, um, like just through the sports, we can generally like meet people and meet people comfortably. And it's, it's very easy to communicate and harmonize and understand them. And even if like there's a fight, uh, once we have met before, we can fight with understanding. But if, we, you know, when we, when people meet each other, like they try to communicate, but if they have a different opinion, they try, they can fight, but we can fight uh, with understanding. 
but if we don't know like if i and like if i meet someone who i don't know and who i haven't met before like if we fight like there's no way and no reason i should understand them so if we meet through the sports and if we have met before like the gap between those two can be um shortened before i met them like I just felt that North Korean players were very strict and kind of scared, 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 and like very like. Um, I thought they would be very like um, stereotype person, like they very fit person. So um, I didn't actually want to talk to them, or, or I just didn't want to be friends with them because that was my stereotype. But then after I met them and I realized that they were just people, they were just human like us and they were just like students and players who love to play sports and who love to meet like people. And like, like we were just the same. So we became friends. I like I'm not sure and I cannot say like for as a whole but I'm I'm sure that like um just like for my team members and all the play like all the players in our team felt the same way if I have a chance to say like do the conference thing like this like I am willing to join this yeah. and let people know about the experience that I had in Olymp during the Olympic period so that they can understand like um, like they can just think that think what I thought before like oh they are not that kind of scary person or they just live in a totally different like system honestly like I didn't have any interest in this kind of issue before I met them and I played in Pyeongchang but after that, and after I participated in the Pyeongchang Peace Forum and that kind of um, conference, I realized that there are so many people who help and try to build peace and try to help that kind of um, peacemaking. I, I realized that there were so many people who engaged in this kind of peace um, conference and process uh, to make the better world and to make the peaceful world for everyone.